But with that being said, right, I think there's also a point to if you don't get that hour a day, right? And I, I, I was listening to saying that like it, it does affect the rest of your day. If you don't have that blank space of that hour, it's impossible to be at the top of your game every single day. And you touched on it a little bit uh, earlier on. Um, can either of you actually remember a time in your life that might necessarily be in the world that you're in right now, but it could be back when you were younger, it could be, I don't know, but where you weren't reaching the standards that you actually set, where you weren't actually proud of what you were trying to, to do. Because I find sometimes that if there are moments throughout the year, um, maybe it's during the dark days or whatever, and, and the short days, but there are moments when it's, I find it very hard to get up in the morning. I find that I, I might necessarily train as, as well as I would like. I mightn't have the right habits. I might be eating nutritionally well. And maybe there's things happening in the background that are affecting, affecting me. Has anything like that happened to you guys? And how have you gotten yourself back on track? So basically, this happens on a weekly basis. Like, let's be honest, it's impossible to be at that level all the time. But you also got to be able to realize, okay, what are the non-negotiables? So for example, I have at 4 o'clock every day, I have 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes blocked into my, into my diary where I just go for a walk. And that's just to clear the head and then get, get back into things. So like no nobody in uh, nobody on earth can can say that they're at a high performance all the time. And this idea that people are going to be peak performing consistently all the time is just social media or LinkedIn. It's just where people are able to give self gratification of what they're do 